Hi guys, my name is Bethany Johnson and I will be presenting Understanding Your Communication presentation today. I will be answering a few questions regarding our typed responses and sharing some stories along with all that. So the first question I am going to be talking about will be, what is a compliment that you have received that changed your life or at least is a memorable compliment? So I would have to say that my compliment would be my dedication to my education. Um, first, a little bit about me is I've been a licensed practical nurse for the last 11 years, and I have been maintaining that role more in the scope of long-term care facilities. I knew that I always wanted to transition into a registered nurse and fulfill all of my goals of being a registered nurse. I just was not ready within those 11 years to finally take the leap and transition. Of course, 2020 rolls around in January. I decided to take that leap and join ICC's program where I started con um, completing some of my prerequisites um, to enter into the Bridge LPN to RN program. Of course, we all know that March 2020 rolls around and we're dibbed with COVID, which rocked all of our lives. I am a returning college student and I have full credits. I have 12 credit hours, very tough courses. And now I have to manage try to I have to manage to figure out how to do all my schooling online, which a lot of you have probably had to do as well. During this time, I am also a mother of three children. I have an eight year old, a six year old, and a five year old, which now all have to do e learning as well. So I'm sure that some of you guys probably can share my common interests with being so chaotic, so busy, and I had no idea what I was doing. I knew that if this was going to be a moment of faith, I had to take the plunge and continue on and not let anything stop me. And I definitely was not going to let COVID stop my education just because times got tough. I buckled down, I tried my hardest, and um, Luckily, I was able to get a 4.0 that fall sem that spring semester of 2020, and I made the dean's list, and I joined um, Phi Theta Kappa. So I was very excited, and my family was very excited as long as myself um, that I was able to finally do this, and also signified to myself that I can achieve my goals even when times get tough. So that is the first um, question. The second question I will be discussing is, what is an insult that you received that changed your life or at least is a memorable insult? So I definitely really liked this question because I knew exactly what I wanted to talk about. When I was working as an LPN at my last current job, I remember hearing my boss talking, the door was closed, but I remember overhearing, I wasn't spying or eavesdropping, but I remember overhearing her discussing with another department head that she had this nurse that was thinking about going back to college to get her RN and that she didn't think that she could probably do it because she has so much anxiety problems. And at that moment, I knew that that nurse that she was talking about was me because I had had a lot of anxiety um, the months prior, um, we had a lot of new things that were going on, a lot of house improvements, uh, just the world in general was just getting to me. And I ended up seeking help for my anxiety and getting a control of it. And I decided that this is more time than ever to return back to school. And that was something that I wanted to pursue. When I overheard my boss talking about this, it really instilled my want to continue on even more. I have always had that personality, that mindset that if somebody tries to telling me that I can't do something, it makes me gung-ho even more 
to want to do it, to have to do it, and to succeed a million percent. And I think in that moment, even though I was upset with my boss and that she, I felt backstabbed by what she had said, it also kind of sparked a fire inside of me, so to speak, to, yep, I'm definitely doing this and nobody's going to tell me that I can't or I'm going to fail. So I kind of appreciate that comment and um, I'm trying to take that more to heart um, in a positive, constructive way rather than to have resentment um, towards that boss. So um, I am happy to say that I'm obviously still in school and that I'm still trucking on. So my next thing I will be discussing is what is a misperception that other people may have had about you and why do you think that they've perceived you? So I think the biggest misconception about me is that I am a girly girl. I love the outdoors. I love getting my hands dirty. I love gardening. I love tractors. I love all of that. A lot of misconception about me is that um, how I dress, I have my hair done, I do like to wear makeup, obviously not today. Um, I'm battling the ending of a cold, which I'm sure you guys can all probably hear in my voice, so I'm sorry. But um, I think that a lot of people misconstrue that because they think, oh, you know, here comes Bethany, you know, she has nice clothes on, she, you know, highlights her hair, so, so on and so forth. But I feel like it's the old saying, you never want to judge a book by its cover. And I think that that has really been instilled, that saying has really been instilled in my life because I never want to be that person that judges somebody by the way that they look. Because if I did that, I wouldn't really ever get to really truly know who they were, know their personality, really get to know um, what they like to do and if I have common interests with them. So I always like to share my love of the outdoors, being in the water, um, going hiking, things like that, and to tell people that just because you like to wear makeup or just because you like to wear nice clothes when you go out doesn't um, solicitate you to uh, a certain genre or um, type of person that um, people might think that you are, that you are able to be anything that you want to be and not feel held back by any of that as well. So those are my responses as we're gearing up on eight minutes here. So thank you so much for listening to me and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks.